Hello YouTube, it's me, your girl, Miss Nick, aka Nikki30263. I know I've been MIA lately, um, but I've been kind of, um, hmm, what should I say, out of it. Been having a lot going on um, up here <laughs> mentally. So um, when I get mentally exhausted, I become physically exhausted. So I just crash, period. So that's why I haven't been doing the videos. Um, what I'm going to talk about tonight is going to be the top 10 foods for healthy hair. Um, I talked about this on my blog, and you can visit the blog to get further details. Um, I'm going to try to cover as much as possible. Um, probably going to have to do two videos. If I do two videos, check out the other half. Um, right now, I think I'm just going to cover the first five and then the other five in my next video. Um, but I just wanted to talk about this. And I found this information on well. Okay. Moving on to food number one. Food number one is salmon. And I don't care for salmon. I I had a bad experience and I'm from the south so um, <laughs> as a kid growing up my mother and my grandmother used to they'll, they'll cook the salmon uh, patties for breakfast I just had a bad experience and I used to love them oh my god I used to love them. Oh, I used to love those things I had a bad experience and I, I don't even eat or look at salmon the same anymore it's like if you cook it take it outside I don't want no salmon. Just give me a piece of bacon on some sausage and I'm good. <laughs> but salmon is good for the hair and the scalp because it contains an omega-3 fatty acid which supports healthy scalp. And I always tell people, and you know, it's good to know that in order for you to have healthy hair or hair that is growing on a regular consistent basis, it's good. It's best and good to have a healthy scalp. The key to healthy hair is a healthy scalp. Um, the salmon also contains B12 and iron and a deficiency in B12 and iron and this omega-3 fatty acid can result in a dry scalp which will leave the hair and they leave the hair dull because the scalp is dry. Um, and for all of the vegetarians out there um, you can get a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid through um, a product called flaxseed. And the reason why I have this flaxseed is because um, flaxseed is good for losing um, a little belly fat around the, the midsection. <laughs> and I'm not at all fat or have like a stomach that's hanging all out all out sideways but I did gain a little I gained a little bit of weight more than what I'm accustomed to so um I got flaxseed for that reason and basically if you take two tablespoons a day um it's it's good for you and it'll keep you regular which will uh, initially help you drop some poundage, as well as um, it's good for the hair, which I had no idea. Of course, they didn't tell me it was good for the hair. They was like, if you want to lose weight, eat two tablespoons of uh, flaxseed and then increase it to four a day. And, you know, you can go from there. And you can sprinkle the flaxseed on your cereal, your salad, or even put it in like a milkshake, um, so two tablespoons a day. And it doesn't taste bad. That should taste like ground up pecans. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> and initially you like, oh my god, I mean it kind of look like ground up hay, but it tastes like ground up pecans. But those are for the vegetarians. You can put it in, in, in like on anything. Yogurt. It's good. Salad. Good. Okay, food number two. Green vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, and Swiss chard. Um, and they, those green vegetables are full of vitamin C, 
which are needed to produce sebum, which is the oily substance that coats the outside of the hair and which is secreted by the hair follicles. And that sebum um, basically protects the hair. So you want to make sure that you have an adequate amount of sebum on your hair and that it's doing what it needs to do. And we know sometimes people suffer from an oily scalp, which is, is having an over, overly active sebaceous gland where your hair is producing more sebum than normal, which is nothing really wrong. Like nothing, I won't say there's something wrong with you, or that it's something wrong with the fact that your hair produces more oil than others, but um, it's it's there to protect the hair, protect the hair shaft, which is good. Food number three, um, beans, such as lentils and kidney beans. Um, they provide protein, iron, zinc, and biotin. And if you have a deficiency in biotin, you'll have brittle hair. And they suggested that we eat three or more cups of beans a week. Now, I'm not gonna, be, I, I can't eat them. Um, I love beans, but not three. Mm, beans every night for dinner, it's not gonna happen. Um, but I do love beans and they're good for you. Um, food number four, nuts, such as Brazil nuts, um, which is a great source of selenium. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's an important mineral for health for healthy scalp. Um, and nuts like walnuts contain alpha linolenic acid, which is an omega-3 fatty acid, which helps condition the hair. Um, and then you can eat nuts like cashews, pecans, and almonds, as well as the walnuts. They're a great source of zinc. And if you have a zinc deficiency, you'll have hair shedding. Okay, uh, food number five, poultry, chicken, and turkey. And my diet basically consists of chicken, turkey, and then um, some fish. Um, I love seafood, but I'm not really a big fishy, like fish. I love shrimp, and I love lobster, and scallops, and clams, and all that good stuff but I don't know when it comes to fish it's kind of like I'm real picky with my fish but if you have chicken and turkey in your diet you're getting what they consider high quality protein and we know that the hair is made out of protein and the more protein for the hair the better um, and if you have an inadequate amount of these proteins it will leave your hair weak and brittle and a pro protein deficiency Meaning, like, you just under protein, you just like totally under protein, um, will result in the loss of your natural hair color. Which I'm assuming you're not gonna go gray, but I'm assuming what they're trying to say is that your hair is gonna start, your hair, your natural hair color is gonna start fade, it's gonna start to fade. Um, I'm gonna put a link to the blog for you guys so you can read it a little bit more. And if you haven't subscribed to the blog, or if you're not following the blog, you might want to do that because it's gonna be a um, giveaway going up since I had given a giveaway going on. I'm talking too fast. Um, there's gonna be a giveaway um, for the blog as well as my YouTube channel because I do have 50 plus subscribers now. And I just want to say, you know, thank you for subscribing. I want to welcome all my subscribers. I didn't do that at the beginning. Um, but thanks for following. Um, check out part two where I discuss the next five. And um, leave comments, rate, and subscribe.